We're here at Bloodstock 2011 with the wonderful visitor. Guys, you played this morning. How did that go? It was uh, quite exciting, but very nerve-wracking, I must admit. You have to excuse my voice, I've been partying all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> now this is the second time we've played a festival. We never played Bloodstock before. Um, yeah, it was a fantastic experience. And, you know, for 12.30 in the afternoon, there was people going, going for it, which is fantastic. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, we loved it. It's great to have this opportunity as well. The, the fact that promoters uh, for this actual festival, the, it's, this is a quite a considerably big festival for metal anyway. And um, it's just nice for them to give us the chance to go up there and show off what yeah, we can do. And, and this festival, you know, it seems to be about the music and about metal and, you know, there's no corporate stuff. It's, it's about having a good time and listening to heavy metal, which is yeah. quite a power street. Definitely. No, and you had a pretty good pit going in there as well. Like, I mean, is it all regular fans that you've seen before, or did you see quite a new, few new faces in there? No, no, they were all all new. We, we didn't. They were, yeah, I'd say in that pit they were probably, apart from one or two, they were all all new people. So that's fantastic. So yeah, it was know, great. We only found out two weeks ago they were actually playing the uh, the festival. So it, it was a little bit last minute on the organisation terms, and but yeah, it was it was fantastic. So we we're really pleased that you know people were into it and. And hopefully get a bit of a increase our following to Midlands <laughs> Midlands domination Midlands hey up duck the Midlands That's, I can't do a shit that was, an awful that was terrible you say duck though don't they <laughs> duck yeah. um, you played Wizfest as well earlier this year and you've been asked to go back again next year what have you noticed like the main difference between the whole you know European festivals and UK festivals um, it's kind of hard to compare Wizfest with this one because Wizfest was um, it was a lot smaller. It was in like a sports hall in the middle of nowhere, so people were there for the full day, um, and it was only one stage. So it, it was both festivals have been fantastic for us. Wizfest was great because there were a lot of Belgian guys drinking beer, and they were absolutely pissed as fast by the time we went on stage, and they were just jumping around like crazy. Um, this one we were playing a bit early, but we had a really good reception as well. So, yeah. so both were, were fantastic. I think what it is is just the experience. It's so professional, like people helping us out backstage and all that kind of stuff, you know. And um, we, you don't get that much, obviously, like with smaller gigs that you play, you know, in pubs or like just small clubs. I think I think that was just a bit of a shock to the system. It's just like, oh wow, these guys are actually really organised. Yeah, kind and of it stuff. seems to, for me, it seems a much better organised festival than I've ever been to before. So it's you know really. So, you know, I want to thank the Bloodstock guys for giving us this opportunity. It was uh, oh yeah, fantastic. Hell yeah. <laughs> Not that we should thank them too much because we won fair and square. We won the video competition. <laughs> well, so, you know. Now saying we won fair and square makes it makes everybody think automatically that you bribed. Something. Yeah, well, you know, there's a bit of bribery. No, no, no. Bloodstock will never do that. Yeah. Don't do it at home, kids. <laughs> no, no. But yeah, it was a fantastic experience. So. And you guys, you've recently released a new album. Why don't you tell us a bit about that? Uh, it's called The Need to Believe. Um, it's released through Casket Copro Records and um, seven tracks on it, just all pretty much heavy metal, you know. Um, yeah, there's no there's no messing around there. It's, it's quite thrash, yeah, it's, got, it's, it's quite thrashy and all that kind of. Here it is, right? I've got one in my pocket, how convenient. That was a shameless, <laughs> shameless plug. <laughs> Need to Believe, visit her. But, um, I had it in the car on the way down, actually. Oh, did you? Did you like it? But, um, yeah, that, that's just been released. You can buy it on iTunes, Amazon, um, uh, HM, is it HMV as well? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's distributed by Plastic Head, so it's in all the main stores and everything. So yeah. And that's yeah. worldwide as well. Yeah. So and, uh, um, Our video for Face of Fear, which is the first track on the album, has been showing on Skulls and Kerrang. Um, it's been on a repeat, what do you call it? It's been, it's been repeated, yeah, so yeah, yeah. you know people are voting for it, which is fantastic. And uh, it's been going for, for two months on Skulls now and still going, so... Oh, Watch yeah. out on Skulls Face of Fear. Back it, some crash. It's got quite a dark subject matter in the video, which is always a risky move. Where did that come from? Um, usually our lyrics, we don't go into too much detail in terms of uh, subject matter or anything because we don't want to give the impression of being pretentious or anything. We're more of a fun band trying to keep it, keep it real, be on stage, lively, entertaining. Um, but on that case, it was really about. Um, Someone with terminal illness that was, uh, as they're dying, they, they, they don't want people to see them in a, a, a state where they're dying, basically. They feel ashamed or 
So, and really the video producer and directors, they, they really took it to the next level in terms of expanding the story and, and, and really giving it like that theme and the actors and everything. So we were really pleased with it because when you write lyrics, you don't expect someone to put like a picture story behind it. And, and yeah. they, they did a really good job. So yeah, we were really pleased with it. I think when it comes to writing lyrics as well with, uh, with Visitor, it's, I like to think, uh, I'm, I'm very, I like concepts, thinking outside the box, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not really into the whole, oh, my girlfriend left me and, no, I'm going to go and jump off a cliff or whatever. Yeah, most of our lyrics are actually fairly positive. I mean, face and fear <laughs> aside, we're, we're not into, you know, we're not an emo band. We're not into self-harm. We're not, yeah. we're on about playing a metal, drinking beer and having a good time. Yeah. And most of our songs are more uplifting and powerful rather than uh, melancholic, if that's a word. No, I think it is. Is that a word? I think it is. If it isn't, it should be. If I know what it is, then it has to be. I mean, come on. Okay, <laughs> well, yeah, you're right. <laughs> And so, like the next 12 months, um, what can we expect from you guys? Um, we're basically going to tour the ass off this. Uh, I'm allowed to swear, does it matter? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're going to tour the fuck off this. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, we're going to we're going to tour and get some get some gigs, trying to get some some bigger gigs. Obviously, fest we've played you know Wizfest this year and been stocking a load of smaller gigs. Um, we're going to do another video, I think, for our album. Yeah. So we've done Face of Fear, but we're also going to do one other one. Um, pro we don't know which song yet, um, but we're probably going to do that later in the year. We've had all our websites recently updated and everything, so we're probably just going to try and get more out of the northwest, try and get some gigs in London, Scotland, maybe more on the continent, because we really enjoyed um, playing it in Belgium for Wizfest. So you know, get something a bit more far farther afield, and yeah, it should be. A yeah, it should. Be fun. And we're writing new material all the time. We've got three or four songs already done, almost done, I should say, for, for the next bit of material. We're always writing songs, you know, we don't rest on our laurels, so to speak. We're yeah. always writing tunes, yeah. so. so that's it. Brilliant. Keep, going, keep it going, keep the visitor machine churning. <laughs> well, we'll look forward to that, um, and we'll look forward to seeing a lot more of you guys over the next few months. Um, have a brilliant rest of weekends, and thank you very, very much for your time. Yes, thank brilliant. you very much. Thanks a lot, Bloodstock. <laughs> Visitormusic.com, shameless plug. Go for it. Yes, and uh, come to watch Motorhead later. <laughs> and out the gates. Bye. <laughs>